Hunter, I met you at a very interesting point in my life. After my brother passed away three years ago, I had given up on finding happiness. When I was at this point in my life, with no hope or understanding, I decided to let go. Let go of having control or understanding as to why things were the way that they were, and put my faith in God's greater plans. I would have been never imagined that when included, even you. I slowly started to regain my direction in life. You relit a spark in me that had been burned out for quite some time. And now we carry on, carry on as we all First a sin, then a rose from me, the drink to my And then we carry on, carry on, no force bugs me down. First a sin, then a rose from me. You look great. Thank you. Love you this. look awesome. Thanks. So beautiful. Thanks. It's our day. <laughs> okay. Most lonely rise through time, space, and life's barriers and firmament bounds. It's blue. Everything about you, your laugh, your love, your smile, your innocence, your beauty, your strong faith, your determination, your kindness, your stunning down to every little freckle. I can't wait for you guys to enjoy life and the journey that life brings you. I made a promise to Jordan at his funeral that I would always look out for them to help keep problems away. I know with Hunter, my promise is easily kept. She's in very good hands now, and it just makes me so happy. I'm really happy for you guys. With Hunter and Mackenzie, I've come to know their relationship rather well as their official third wheel. <laughs> I've seen them fall in love more and more every day, and it's always been extremely visible how happy Hunter and Mackenzie Greatest qualities are her innocence, her pure heart, and her naivety. Um, they allow her to love boundlessly and experience the world with untethered wonder. That those pure hearted qualities that make Mackenzie shine are the exact same qualities that make Hunter such a remarkable person.